Today, we are embarking on an exciting journey to uncover all the secrets of peas from the field to your table. You won't want to miss it. Peas are not only delicious, but also highly nutritious. Thanks to their unique ability to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere, peas enrich the soil, making it more fertile for future crops. To grow a good harvest, peas require specific conditions. Plenty of sunlight, moderate rainfall, and well-drained soil, all of these are crucial for their growth. When summer arrives, it's harvest time. The process can be labor-intensive and may either be fully automated or require manual labor especially when it comes to varieties of peas intended for fresh consumption. Depending on the size of the farmland and local traditions, different types of equipment are used to prepare the soil for planting peas. The planting process itself takes place in several stages. For peas to sprout and bloom, they need sufficient moisture, which is why seeders scatter the seeds across prepared beds. Irrigation methods depend on the type of soil, weather conditions, and water availability. Harvesting peas can be done by hand or through mechanization. On larger farms, combine harvesters are often used to speed up the process significantly. Specialized harvesting machines are equipped with pickup drums that gather the plants from the field and transport them to a threshing chamber. Inside this chamber, a rotating beater separates the peas from the plants. These mechanized harvesting systems can not only collect the peas but also clean them of leaves and stems right there in the field. After harvest, the peas are either sent directly for processing or go through additional cleaning and sorting. At the processing plant, the peas are placed into large receiving pits where they undergo preliminary cleaning. From there, they are sent to a sorting line where vibrating screens separate out any underdeveloped or damaged peas. Next, the peas are transferred to sizing machines which sort them by size for further processing. The selected peas then move on to the washing stage, which involves several steps. An initial rinse to remove larger debris, followed by a thorough wash in tanks filled with water that is constantly filtered and refreshed to maintain cleanliness. After washing, the peas go through a blanching process, where they are briefly immersed in hot water. This step helps preserve their bright green color retain nutrients, and improve texture. Blanching also eliminates any potential microorganisms. Afterward, the peas are rapidly cooled in cold water to halt the cooking process and maintain their freshness. Sorting is crucial to ensure only the best peas are selected. The washing process occurs on conveyor systems. First, the peas are rinsed to remove dirt, then they are submerged in specialized tanks for a more thorough cleaning. The water used for washing is often recycled and reused in the process. A crucial step for frozen peas is blanching. This process helps preserve their color, flavor, and nutritional value, while also killing bacteria and enzymes that could cause spoilage. After blanching, the peas are transferred to freezing chambers, where modern equipment rapidly lowers their temperature. This quick freezing prevents the formation of large ice crystals, helping to maintain the product's texture. Next, the peas are moved onto a conveyor belt for preservation. At this stage, they are placed into sterilized glass jars or metal cans. The peas are then covered with a hot solution made of water, salt, and sugar, which helps preserve their taste and texture over an extended period. After that, the jars or cans are sealed tightly and sent for sterilization, where they are exposed to high temperatures to eliminate any remaining microorganisms. This process ensures a long shelf life, without compromising the product's quality. Sterilization is one of the most crucial steps in the canning process. First, the jars containing the peas are heated to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which destroys harmful microorganisms and enzymes that could lead to spoilage. The sterilization process can last anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the jar and the density of the packing. Once sterilization is complete, the jars are quickly cooled to room temperature to prevent the glass from cracking due to thermal shock. This stage is essential for maintaining the integrity of the packaging and ensuring the product's quality. After sterilization, the peas go through a cooling phase to halt the heating process and avoid packaging ruptures caused by sudden temperature changes. Next, the canned goods move to the labeling line, where each can is marked with product information, expiration dates, and barcodes, 
To ensure transparency and ease of use, each can must include detailed information such as the production date, expiration date, and storage recommendations. This helps consumers feel confident about the quality and freshness of the product. After labeling, the cans are packed into cardboard boxes for transportation. At this stage, automated systems are used to place the cans in boxes with minimal manual handling, which speeds up the process and helps prevent damage. Once packaged, the cans are sent to a temporary storage warehouse before being distributed to retail locations. One of the final stages is quality control. Every step of the production process is closely monitored to ensure compliance with sanitary and technological standards. Specialized on-site laboratories regularly conduct tests to check the can's seal integrity, the presence of foreign particles, and organoleptic properties such as the taste, color, and smell of the peas. Only after passing all inspections is the product approved for shipment to the consumer. Smaller packages of peas are placed into cardboard boxes for further transportation. Automated systems and robotic arms tightly wrap each package in protective film and prepare it for shipment. Modern technology allows this entire process to be quick and efficient while maintaining high product quality. Special conveyor lines equipped with robotic manipulators carefully wrap each container in protective film, helping to prevent damage during transport and storage. Frozen and canned peas are shipped to supermarkets, stores and markets. They are also used in the food industry to create ready-made meals. Logistics play a crucial role in maintaining the freshness of the peas. Frozen peas are transported in refrigerated trucks, while canned peas are shipped under conditions that prevent spoilage. For frozen peas, special refrigerated containers are used to maintain a constant temperature throughout the entire transportation process, which helps prevent spoilage and preserves their nutritional value. Canned peas are also transported with temperature control in mind to prevent packaging ruptures or the growth of microorganisms. Here are some interesting facts about peas. First, peas are one of the richest sources of plant-based protein among vegetables, making them an excellent choice for those who don't eat meat. One cup of fresh peas contains about one-third of an ounce of protein, which helps maintain muscle and overall health. Second fact, peas are high in fiber, which is essential for healthy digestion. Fiber promotes regular bowel movements and prevents constipation. Additionally, it supports the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut, improving the microbiome and strengthening the immune system. Third fact, NASA has included peas in its list of plants suitable for growing in space. Their high nutritional value, ability to improve air quality through photosynthesis, and ease of cultivation make peas an ideal candidate for space missions, such as expeditions to Mars. Did you know that a banana isn't actually a fruit from a tree, but rather a type of giant grass? And a single bunch can weigh up to 110 pounds? From tropical plantations to your table, join us as we uncover the amazing secrets behind the banana's journey and learn about the technologies that make it all possible. In the world of fruits, there is one true king, essential to breakfast, dessert, or any afternoon snack. This fruit is not only delicious, but also incredibly nutritious, with a history that goes back centuries. Yes, you guessed it, we are talking about bananas. But do you know where they come from? And the journey they take from seedling to your plate? I traveled to the tropical regions where bananas are grown, ranging from Latin America to Southeast Asia. Each region has its own unique methods and traditions for cultivating these green treasures. Today, I'm excited to share with you the fascinating process behind it all. Sunrise on a banana plantation marks the start of another hardworking day. Here, among endless rows of greenery, begins the story of every banana that will eventually make its way to your table. Bananas aren't trees in the traditional sense of the word. They are the largest herbaceous plants, producing fruit in bunches that can weigh up to 110 pounds. Growing such a marvel of nature requires not only knowledge and experience, but also incredible care and attention. Caring for banana plants starts with planting seedlings and continues all the way through to harvest. Farmers regularly inspect the plants for pests and diseases, ensuring they receive the right amount of water and nutrients. 
Modern technology plays a key role in banana cultivation. From drip irrigation systems to drones used for monitoring plant health, these innovations help increase yields while reducing the environmental impact. It all begins in the fields, where the meticulous work of planting banana seedlings and preparing the soil takes place. I watched as farmers used cultivators to carefully place the seeds in the optimal spots and gently watered the seedlings with a fine mist or spray. The maturation period for banana plants can range from 9 to 20 months, although some varieties develop faster than others. As the plants mature, special agricultural techniques are applied. For instance, farmers trim the tip of the banana bud to stimulate the development of the bunch. To speed up the formation of banana clusters, they also remove some of the female flowers. Over time, these clusters grow into mature bananas. At this stage, disease management becomes crucial. Common banana leaf diseases, such as Xanthomonas wilt, Fusarium wilt, and black or yellow Cigatoka, are combated by removing infected leaves and using pesticides. These treatments are essential to protect banana crops from pests and ensure a healthy harvest. Harvesting bananas is truly an art that requires precise timing based on visual cues, such as the size and ripeness of the banana. During this time, workers also monitor the growth of pups, young banana plants that sprout from the roots of older plants, to ensure they stay healthy. I watched as workers carefully cut each bunch from the vine, taking great care not to damage the fruit. Once the bananas are harvested, they are sent to processing areas. The bunches are tied together and transported via a conveyor system to a washing station. During the washing process, bananas are cleaned of harmful bacteria and debris to prepare them for further processing. For transport, they are protected by cotton paper, which is placed between each row of bananas to keep them safe during their journey. Bananas are highly perishable, so quick preparation is essential. When I arrived at the banana processing plant, I was shown the entire preparation process. First, the bananas are rinsed with water, measured, and the protective cotton paper is removed. Before they are packaged, the bananas are cut into smaller bunches and washed one last time to ensure they are completely clean. Workers then use scissors to cut the bunches into sections, check the weight, and prepare them for distribution before moving them to the packaging line. This precise procedure highlights the level of care and attention required to ensure bananas remain fresh and high quality throughout their journey from the field to the consumer. The transportation and storage of bananas is a complex process that requires close monitoring at every step. After harvest, the bananas are carefully packed into boxes to prevent damage. They are then transported in special temperature-controlled containers to avoid premature ripening. During transportation, often by sea, the bananas are kept at an optimal temperature of around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Upon arrival at their destination, bananas go through a ripening process in specially equipped chambers. Here, the temperature and ethylene concentration are carefully controlled to ensure the bananas ripen evenly before they reach store shelves. This process allows the bananas to develop their characteristic yellow color and desired softness. In stores and markets, bananas are kept at room temperature, away from direct sunlight and ethylene-producing products to minimize further ripening and extend their shelf life. This helps ensure that the bananas remain fresh and flavorful until they reach the consumer. At the same time, there is a dedicated section of the factory for producing banana chips. Banana chips are a tasty and popular snack made by drying or frying thinly sliced pieces of banana. They can be made from either ripe or unripe bananas, depending on the desired flavor and texture. I watched as bananas were peeled by hand to remove the fruit. Banana chips, made from either mashed or sliced bananas, are fried in hot oil and turn out incredibly delicious. Once the chips are fully cooked, they are placed on a draining tray to remove excess oil, ensuring they have a perfectly crispy coating. The dried chips are seasoned with spices to make them even more flavorful. The factory staff carefully plan each step before sending the chips to the packaging area, which is managed by an artificial intelligence-powered machine. 
Before placing the chips into plastic bags, the machine takes precise weight measurements. Once the workers finish filling the bags, they place them into paper containers and seal them with the company's branding. These containers display important information, including the serial number, production date, and expiration date. The containers are then securely sealed with tape, ensuring the chips are safe for transport and storage. This comprehensive process, starting from banana cultivation and ending with banana chips and market-ready packaging, highlights the significant effort and technology involved in preparing these products for sale or export. It offers an interesting glimpse into the banana processing industry, showcasing the intricate procedures used to preserve the freshness and high quality of bananas from harvest to final sale. Banana chips are a source of nutrients like potassium, B vitamins, some dietary fiber, and minerals, especially when they are dried. However, fried banana chips can contain a considerable amount of fats and calories, so they should be eaten in moderation. You can also make banana chips at home, where you can control the amount of oil and seasoning added, making them a healthier option compared to store-bought varieties. The next time you grab a banana, take a moment to think about all the effort that went into its cultivation, harvest, and delivery. Remember that each bite connects you to distant countries, cultures, and people who make this world so vibrant and diverse.